The lipsticks that I'm talking about are the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche The Perfect Lip Lipstick. Is that it? Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another swatch and review video. I know I just posted one, and I do have one more coming up after this one. Just, just one. Um, and I don't mean to like bombard you guys with these swatch videos, but hey, at least I'm doing them on like new products and like new colors that you haven't seen before. And at least for the one that like I have coming up, I know I was looking for swatches of people who had similar skin tones to me and I could not find one. So I hope th these videos are at least helpful for anybody who's like my skin tone or darker who look for people to swatch these things before they purchase them especially these but we'll get into that so right off the bat i do have to let you guys know that i did not purchase these lipsticks i'm going to talk about in this video i was sent them by bite beauty and influencer for testing purposes but that changes nothing of my opinion because i'm about to let you guys know if getting these for free is the only way i would own these lipsticks because they retail for 26 dollars yeah. The lipsticks that I'm talking about are the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche The Perfect Bite Lipsticks. That was a tongue twister. Like, y'all don't know how many times I just had to sit here and say that to get that right. Um, but like I said, that these retail for $26 and there are 34 shades in the whole collection. Now, I don't have a release date for you, but um, I went on the Sephora website and it said like VIB and VIB Rouge could purchase these. So... I don't know if that's like how it's always going to be or if like once they like officially launch like everyone will be able to buy them. I'm assuming that's how it is but if you are a Sephora VIB or a Sephora VIB Rouge you can purchase these right now on Sephora. I believe so. So the colors I got were Beetroot which is what's on my lips right now, Pepper, and Gazpacho? Gazpachi? Gaz all right, you know what? We're just going to call it Gazpacho because if they wanted a specific way, they should have sent like the dictionary pronunciation. So the pros. Um, this is a creamy texture. It felt great when it was applying. The pigmentation is better for the darker, the two darker colors that I did receive than the lighter color that I got. Um, and it has an amazing smell. Well, this could be a con if you don't like strong scents, but it has a very strong citrusy scent. And my Caribbean self just loves anything like fruity scented so i loved the fact that it smelled like oranges now i don't know if everyone who received these received like the same three colors but i felt gazpacho whatever and beetroot were like the perfect colors to send to someone my skin tone because i love both of those colors um and the whole collection is pretty much like colors that you would expect to see on like your natural everyday lips like you're not getting any blues or greens out of this collection so i like the fact that um a lot of their colors will look nice on someone of my skin tone. Pepper, uh, uh. Now the cons of this lipstick, and I have quite a few. Now, I'm not sure if this is something that's just consistent with all lipstick brands, but I found that a lot of them, the lighter shades work like completely differently than the darker shades, and this one's no different. Pepper, or that, that lighter shade that I had on, was just a hot mess. And I'm not even talking like how it looked on me, even though, like, let's let's not get into that but um I'm just talking about like how it felt to wear it for the few minutes that I did have it on like it felt like it was an ice skating rink on my lips like my lips were like sliding all over the place and this is a creamy texture so I wasn't expecting like color pop dry mattes but that was just too much for the five seconds that I had it on to swatch it and Gazpacho and beetroot also fall into this category of that it settles into the fine lines of your lips even though I did exfoliate my lips before doing this and it does bleed just a little bit um let's see um as you can see the transfer is eh. um it's doable but you know like this isn't something that's that pigmented to begin with so for that much to be able to come off like after one kiss um so let's get into these swatches and then I'll come back and let you know if this influencer was influenced to buy these.
just said and everything that you've just seen take into consideration, I'm going to give these lipsticks a 3 out of 5. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel weird with this product. Um, I do not like the lighter shade. I probably wouldn't try any of their lighter shades because they would probably have the same consistency and the same feel as this one. However, I really do like Beetroot and Gazpacho, especially Gazpacho. Gazpa I don't care if I'm saying it right or not, um, is like that perfect pure red. It's like that Christian Louboutin red um, that everybody should own. Um, like I said, um, the darker shades do have better pigmentation, do have a better wear. These kind of feel like the lighter shade when you first put it on, but it does dry to the best that it can dry um, the longer it is on your lips. It is transfer transferable. Uh, which I feel like I still just said wrong. It's been a long day. Um, so that did take it down a couple notches. Um, would I purchase these myself? Oh, they're $26. However, I have purchased the Kat Von D lipstick, which was a dud. And I purchased the Stilla, which was like $24, like $3 more than the Kat. And I hated that one. So I feel like, you know, like, you know when you have those moments where you want to treat yourself, like, you know what, I deserve this $30 palette. I deserve this $50 foundation. I feel like that's what these are. Like, I would buy these if I was in Sephora and, like, I was like, you know what, I deserve a new lipstick, so I'm going to spend $26. I would, just because they do have some really pretty colors that I would want to try out, but this is, like, on a every now and then type of basis but i'm in sephora like every week so who knows i could have like five by next week so that's it for this video i hope that my review and these swatches helped on your decision on whether or not you will try these out once they are released if anything were to change and i do come across when they are going to be available for everybody i will put that in the description box down below make sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe down below thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one bye <music>